So yeah, right now the process that we're going to do is called the embryo transfer process. Mm -hmm. It's a process where we uh, transfer the cloned embryo into the surrogate mother. Mm -hmm. uh, before uh, this project, uh, this this uh, surgery itself used to take uh, two hours, more than two hours to do, and the efficiency was uh, cloning efficiency was uh, pregnancy efficiency was uh, less than one percent. Mm -hmm. But now it's mm -hmm. yeah, I was, and now the procedure itself takes uh, less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. Wow! Well, maybe some exaggeration, less than ten minutes. And this uh, this. Uh, Procedure. This technique was developed by Dr. Huang. Uh, yes. So, uh, I guess we perfected it. Mm, perfected um, it. Okay, perfected is too big. So uh, we've made it uh, much more efficient. Okay. And what is he doing right now? Right now? Yeah. What's that that he's doing? Uh, so. What he has in his hands is the uh, electrical scalpel. Yeah. He's using it to cut open a small uh, opening into the abdominal area, uh -huh. from which uh, we will uh, transfer the embryo. Okay. If you can see here the video over here on the screen, it's the uh, embryos, the cloned embryos that we will transfer into the surrogate mother. Okay. So essentially, he's putting the embryos into the mother. Yes, yes. Not taking them out. No, no, no. This is the implantation procedure. Yes, yes. And who are the two fellows working with him? Uh, they're the veterinarian doctors, the PhDs. Yeah, can Nick. Mr. Philip. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, this is the left left side of the and you can see all uh, over in here and we are going to uh, transfer to the uh, left side of the Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah. So we're going to transplant the, the, also the embryos into the left side of the oviduct. The uh, liver is stored in the market. Mm -hmm. Right. Now he's implanting. to verify if uh, all of the eggs have been transplanted from the screen. Mm -hmm. yeah, as you can see, all of the eggs have been uh, inserted. 
Mm -hmm. And with this, we're done with the Ember transfer process. Oh, extraordinary. <laughs> What kind of puppy is he plan implanting? So uh, the name is off the record, but the mm. original name of the dog is Molly. It's a special case uh, mm -hmm. where the body had been frozen. As I told you, if you freeze it, it damages uh, itself, but after considerable difficulty, we have been able to revive the cell. Okay. Uh, salvage the cell, so that's a better, better way to put it. And that was the best <laughs> After the embryo transfer process, after 60 to 61 days, we'll have a healthy clone to pop. So the Russian team is interested because it was frozen and it was deceased uh, and frozen, and they're interested in. I mean, in this case, uh, the, the visitors are here just uh, to visit our facilities. Okay. Yeah. But this is just a, like a special case. Okay. And there's a new puppy. Yeah. Now this is the the cesarean section. Ah. Uh, the, the birth of the clone puppy. Okay. And they do cesarean because it's uh, a higher percent chance of retrieving the puppy alive. No, not really. That most of the cases is natural birth, but depending on the condition of the surrogate mother as well as the uh. condition of the puppy. So we monitor the health and the, the hormone levels of the dogs mm -hmm. uh, every day. Mm -hmm. And depending on that, uh, <laughs> excuse me. So depending on that, uh, we decide to either wait for the natural birth mm -hmm. or opt for the C-section. Mm -hmm. So in this case, because it's an older dog, you wanted to try with the C-section. No, not because of the age. It's uh, more like. Uh, okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the age, it's more of the condition of the, the puppy. Ah, okay. The puppy that's inside of the dog. Yeah, yeah. How many puppies will be uh, delivered today? One puppy? Uh, excuse me? One. So it'll be uh, one puppy. Wow. Do he get uh, the black uh, the, the shoot? Dashun, the first one. What kind of doggy is this guy? Uh, the, the, the puppy. Uh, the, this puppy that's being delivered now is a Dachshund. Yeah, yeah, a black Dachshund. What kind of what kind of dog is the mother? The surgeon. It's a mixed breed. Mm -hmm. You see the Dachshund over there? It's the clone of that. Ah, oh, really? It's this dog. That's the mom. <laughs> no, not the. <laughs> I'm <just> being facetious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Dachshund. Yeah. So it's the same clone dog as uh, as the one that uh, the the caretaker is holding. Okay. Yes.
Yes, sir. Uh, just in case, you, you can close up on the professor. But it's possible not to close up on the surgery area because it's a. Uh, uh, Which area do you not want me to publish? Oh, no, no, you can publish it, you can film it, but don't zoom into the surgery area. Okay. Uh, but you can zoom into the faces if, uh, if you want. But what I'm zooming in now is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Because I think the surgical techniques as well is uh, somewhat of a. Uh, how do you say? <laughs> Intellectual property. <laughs> <laughs> And the instrument he's using is an electrical scalpel. What's yeah. the scissor yeah. things that he's using? Yeah. What's that oh, called? Oh, right now that? Mm, the official name, I'm not sure. It's to expand. Mm. I guess basically it would be called an expander. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to, sure to hold that. open the skin. He's taking yeah. out the puppy right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's one, the one sack. So it's a one puppy. Oh, that's so cool. That's the... Uh, that's the placenta of the mo of the mother. No, that's the the sac. So embryonic sac. But it's the puppy is inside that sac. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then later on, you'll see they take out the placenta as well. Mm. Oh There's my the gosh. So they're opening the sack now, and they're taking out the other shoot. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh here he comes. <laughs> wow. That's a hundred thousand dollar dash hunt. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, indeed. Is he going to have some seaweed soup? I hope so. Later on. <laughs> Maybe the researchers will. <laughs> Or the, maybe the mother, the surrogate yeah. mother. Helping it breathe properly. Mm -hmm. So right now they're cutting the umbilical cord. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. taking the pup into the incubator. While Professor Pan is extracting the placenta. Mm -hmm. Where's the incubator? It's up there. <laughs> So the, we have to wait for the puppy to wake up. Mm -hmm. Because the mother has been under anesthesia, the anesthesia also affects the puppy. So How long does it take to wake them up? Uh, it depends on the cases. Sometimes it's very fast, so it takes uh, a few minutes. Sometimes it takes like 25 to 30 minutes. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 